my channel. So today I am filming what is inside my everyday makeup bag. Last week, if this video goes up the week after last, does that make any sense? I don't know. Last week I filmed what's in my backpack, so I think this is going up the week after. If not, I filmed it the weekend after and it's gone up another time. But you guys requested uh, what's in my everyday makeup bag. And I'm just so excited to do this video because let's just say I love 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 talking about my makeup like my friends and i we always 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 talk about makeup and on this channel i don't really do many makeup related videos so i don't know if that's something you guys want me to start doing like more makeup videos just in general or just to stick with what i do and to do whatever you guys request that week i definitely definitely though want to film my lipstick collection that's not all of my lipstick collection that's some of it but i really really want to film that and you guys really want to see that so that definitely will be coming soon oh and there is one more thing i want to say as well what do you feel about this backdrop background kind of thing i don't know it's kind of weird because i'm never ever like up close most of the time i'm like quite far away when i film so it's kind of weird just being in a new backdrop not just in my bed i don't think this would be a regular thing but if you like this backdrop then also let me know in the comments below i'm seriously gonna stop rambling on now because i've been talking for god knows how long now so let's actually get into this video here is my everyday makeup bag this is actually from asos loads of you who follow my vlog channel always ask someone where's it from because you see this every single morning it's from asos so i'm gonna link it in the description below and it was 12 pounds i love it because it's just so adorable let's open it up i'm gonna kind of put them out at random but i'm gonna try and do like face products first and then go with like brushes after brushes are face products what am i talking about you know what i mean <laughs> the first thing i pull out of my makeup bag is this Too faced primer and oh my goodness i love it so much it's a new addition to my makeup bag to be honest i never ever used to wear a primer i just didn't really feel it was needed but then when i tried this one here i was like yeah this is so worth the money why didn't i think of getting a primer before so i can't really say it's the best primer ever because i haven't really tried many primers but i do know that this works and the packaging is adorable so it just makes me love it so much more and next in my bag is my foundation just want to point out before i like properly properly start even though i've been like talking for like seven minutes right now i don't necessarily i can't say that word i always say seren Wait, I don't know what I say. I just don't think I say it right. No, I don't think I do. I use most of these products every single day, but this is the bag that I take out everywhere with me. I take my makeup bag everywhere. It doesn't mean I'm gonna top up every single day. It's just in case of emergencies. I always take my makeup bag, so there is quite a lot of things in there for emergencies. So for my foundation, I use the Bare Minerals Compact Foundation in the shade R250. I've been using it for years and I still have it now. This is amazing. The reason I love this so much is because one, it's so easy to apply. Two, it hardly ever runs out. Like there's so much in here. Seriously, every time I do it, it never seems to go down never seems to go down <laughs> so it lasts a very very long time third and final thing the reason i didn't use primer is because this foundation stays on your face for the whole day i've tried using liquid foundation just because i thought oh maybe they'll be a bit quicker i put them on my face it's fine for the first hour after an hour every single liquid foundation i use it goes patchy i don't know what type of skin i've got it's not necessarily dry or oily i just think it's kind of normal but i just can't put liquid on my skin without it just going patchy so this is like the best foundation ever i'm so glad i started out using this after i've done my foundation i go on and use the maybelline instant anti-age the eye Arisa. i've never ever had a concealer like it definitely recommend you to go get it it's 7.99 so it's not like that expensive i love the brush of it so much it just feels so nice on your skin and i get the shade light and i put this all over this isn't like a concealer to cover up spots i personally don't think it's very good at that i personally think it's really really good to contour with so I use this on daily the blusher that i have on today and i take in my everyday makeup bag is this one by kiko called blending wave and it's a multi-color blush now i didn't actually go out and originally buy this it was my mum who went out and bought this then i ran out of blusher and i was like no what am i gonna do so i asked for a 
from my mom's and she has this one by Kiko. It's a really, really nice blush. It's not too strong. I've got it on today, as you can tell. I think I just said that. Yeah, I did. I have no idea how much this is. I'm gonna link everything in the description below so you can find out. All I know is it's a really, really good product and I seem to be loving Kiko products at the moment. Clinique Chubby Stick. I absolutely adore this product so much. I don't own anything else from their brands. I only own the Chubby Sticks. I also own the Chubby Stick in the lighty shade. Personally, I don't rate it, but this one here is amazing. This is 01 Curvy Contour. I love it so much. I seem to wear it like every well, I do wear it every day. And I'm not a person to like proper contour my face, wear loads of makeup every day for like when I go to school. You can make this so subtle and you can also make it so dark at the same time. So good, so, so good. I have the MAC Studio Fix NW25. Now I don't use this as a foundation. I know it's a foundation. I don't use it as a foundation. I use it to blend the makeup in from my face to my neck because I love wearing a foundation color that's actually darker than my skin shade. Like that Bare Minerals is darker than my skin shade. So I use this to rub it in and it is amazing. And sometimes I do bond my neck with it. This is a really, really good powder. And I think if I didn't use Bare Minerals, I would use this. Although Bare Minerals is so much better for your skin than this. I know a lot of people that rate this. And to be honest, I don't really rate many of MAC products, apart from the lipsticks, the lipsticks are like my favourite thing ever, they are like heaven. I don't really rate any other products of theirs apart from this. Mascara, I use the Maybelline New York Mascara. It's quite a clumpy mascara, as you can tell, I always have like kind of clumpy full eyelashes. I love that look, I think I'm just used to them being like jet black and full and thick. So this definitely does the job, and I think this is around six pounds. The other day, I literally was in heaven because Urban Decay sent me some of their products, and I tried their new Afterglow highlighter in the shade Aura 8 Hour. This is the highlighter that, oh my goodness, I'm in love with. The Mary Lou highlighter, you would have heard me talk about this, so many times in my vlogs and in my main channel videos. It's so pigmented, it comes out exactly what it looks like. My biggest compliment that I always get on YouTube is, oh my goodness, your highlight or something to do with my highlight, all down to this. It's amazing, I love the packaging. It's just like so 60s and it's so like Marilyn Monroe and the highlighter itself is amazing as well. Did you guys just hear my dad? Because I did. Honestly, go get this. I'm telling you now, it will change your life. Eyebrows. I use the Sleek Eyebrow Palette. I use this every single day. It's really, really good. It comes with two little brushes, one angled brush and one rounded brush, powder, and then the liquid. I have the shade Light 817. Also in my bag, I have this NYX Concealer HD. What shade do I have it in? I think it's just 01, I think it's called. I can't really say too much about this. I haven't had it long. I think I got it yesterday. But I put it in my bag because I've been looking for a concealer that can be thin enough to go over the top of my eyebrows and underneath to make sure the eyebrows are more like sharpened because that Maybelline one there isn't a thin brush whether this is more of like a thinner brush. These are the brushes that I take out every single day. Now these definitely aren't my nicest brushes. My nicest brushes are ones that I use when I go out and I don't want them to get scruffy in my makeup bag. So honestly I have way nicer brushes than these but these do the job. They can get scruffy, it doesn't matter if they get dirty. So I'm going to talk you through them. P.S. They're going to be really, really dirty. This foundation brush here from Real Techniques is really, really good, but, oh, I nearly put myself in the eye. It's too thin to be a foundation brush, in my opinion, and I use powder anyway, so I don't really like using foundation brushes like these. So I use this for my concealer to go up here and there and tap it all in rather than a beauty blender. To blend it all in, I use this big powder brush here from Nanchi, and then I also use a big powder brush from Real Techniques that's also really, really good. Isn't it my everyday makeup bag that I take out, though, because is far too big like it's such a big brush but it is really really good this little brush here i use for contouring and i also use for highlight i prefer to use for highlight it's just so nice it's so soft as well why am i demonstrating another old techniques brush i use this buffing brush as a blusher brush don't ask why found it in my drawer thought why not use it works really really well as a blusher brush i also take this I don't even know what this is called, Conceal Perfector. I use this for highlighter as well and just to go around the edges of my face. I love this brush so much. I think this is also from Nanchi. Yeah, 
Lipsticks, my favourite part of the whole day. Every day I take out Velvet Teddy. I think most of you guys will know this. It's from MAC and I think it's like £15. It is very used now. But it's my go-to lipstick. It matches with everything. Oh, it's just such an amazing colour. Dubby Dubby from NYX I also use. It's very, very similar to Velvet Teddy again. A nice, dark, neutral nude colour. Finally, this one is also kind of similar. This one's from Lime Crime and this is in the shade Bleached. It is the most incredible colour. Yeah, so that is everything inside my makeup bag. My makeup bag is completely empty and I officially have nothing else to talk about. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what videos you want to see soon. Also check out my social media so you can tweet me and Instagram me what videos you'd like to see in the future. Also, go add my Snapchat. My code is here and my name is here so if you're scam there or add my name, follow me on Snapchat, go add me on there. I'm also going to be doing a Snapchat Q&A soon, so make sure you go add me on there. Also, before I end the video, I just want to say, I have finally, finally, finally got a PO box, which I'm so excited about because you guys have been asking for one for such a long time. The reason I have now got a PO box is because I want to do a PO box opening video, so if you have something kind of creative or funny or awesome that I could do on video, send it to me and hopefully I can put it in my video. That'll be really, really exciting. I really I'm going to end this video now because I feel as if the intro and the outro was longer than the whole video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next week. Bye!